a Palestinian-led campaign against Israel. It's called Boycott, Divestment, Sanctions, or BDS. Uh, BDS aims to end injustice and inequality and uh, denial of human rights. So what is your response to that? Well, my response is really not relevant. I think what's important is Mr. Barghouti's response. In 2013, he said in a lecture, and I quote, definitely, most definitely, we oppose a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. The purpose of the BDS movement is to put an end to the Jewish state of Israel in any borders whatsoever. It's a destructive movement. And what's most disturbing is that the movement misleads young people who really do care about social justice. Uh, Palestinians are living not just under military occupation, not just under a system of colonization, but under a system of apartheid. So BDS aims to end this oppression so that Palestinians can enjoy freedom, justice and equality. Mr. Barghouti was born in Qatar, he was raised in Egypt, and he got his degree at the University of Tel Aviv, where he studied together with Christians and Jews and Arabs, all experiencing equal rights and equal opportunity, in a country where Arabs serve as Supreme Court justices, as lawyers and doctors and actors, and everything that, that human beings do, including members of government. And when asked about this at UCLA in 2016, Mr. Barghouti said that they were collaborators. So because the movement is beginning to have an economic impact even, with major pension funds pulling their investments from Israeli banks or international companies involved in Israel's human rights violations, this is precisely the traction that Israel dreads. If it really were, you wouldn't be able to use your computer or your cell phone. You wouldn't be able to access much of the clean drinking water on Earth or many of the medications that you use. These are the kinds of exports that Israel creates. A great example is SodaStream. BDS pressured them to move their factory, which costed hundreds of Palestinians their jobs. How uh, can one be critical of Israel and Israel's policies without being labeled anti-Semitic? Well, if you're critical of Israel and Israel's policies, you have something in common with just about every person in Israel. We have a joke that we have nine million prime ministers because everybody thinks they're right. Uh, but I'll tell you what, in the world there are 57 Muslim states, there are over 100 Christian states, there are six Buddhist states, there's only one Jewish country. It's one of the smaller countries in the world with a size less than New Jersey and a population less than New York City. And it is the only one that is singled out by BDS, not for criticism, but for total destruction. Now, I'm not saying that singling out the world's only Jewish state for total destruction is anti-Semitic, but I can't imagine what else it would be.